application. So they're getting smarter. The Ayatollah, of course, uh, they're very shocked of all of this, of course, blaming the West for this. And, of course, the White House is saying, we're not the ones doing this. They are doing it on their own. And it's really shocking. Uh, well, what if the U.S. must help us? One Tehran demonstrator was telling Fox News, the Internet is weak. Sometimes we get cut off. Sometimes the audio, the video does not work. We try to use different software to overcome the problems of filtering, but we have many problems. They want a new government. They want freedom. They want what we enjoy. And there's plenty of good Iranians. We have a great Iranian population here in the United States. We need to pray because the leaders are evil. They paint the West as evil. And, folks, we have problems over here, and there are evildoers in our country, unfortunately. But there's more people that do good every day, and thank God for that. It's the only way that God has mercy on our country, I believe that. But these people are crying out for freedom. And we definitely need to pray for the Iranians. And maybe this is the year of change. Maybe it'll happen. Unfortunately, people are dying. People are getting shot and killed. But the price of freedom doesn't come free. Just think about our own country. And uh, I, I foresee there's probably going to be a lot more people that are going to lose their lives out of this because of the demonstrators. But it's not going away. I am totally praying that they have an open, free election. And maybe the tides turn. Because their leaders are evil doers. They, they, they sponsor terrorism all over the world. Hamas is being funded by them. Of course, they're working with North Korea on their ICBMs. They've exchanged blueprints and models and funding and scientists and information. So they're at cahoots. It is interesting over the past week that there's a line of communication you heard with the north and the south, and maybe because of the South Korean, the Olympics, to be held there. So there has to be some mutual respect and understanding for security concerns. So perhaps, maybe. But meanwhile, China and Ping is gearing up for war, telling his, his million-man army to not be afraid of war that's coming. Kind of interesting. What does China know? And what war would be coming? Very interesting. Of course, China's not really helping us much because oil shipments are still coming in and out of North Korea. So perhaps maybe the Olympics is a blessing in disguise. Maybe it's a good thing. Nobody really knows definitively exactly what the North contribution is going to be to the Olympics because they want to send some folks out. But people are saying ahead of the Olympics that if the North is able to send those into the Olympics to perform, they're thinking how many of them are going to defect and they're expecting mass defections. Mass defections. Uh, guards are running out of there. Something's happening for sure. And if we can avert war, that would be terrific. Love the Olympics. Love watching it. This guy is just a loose cannon. I, I don't know if diplomacy, dip, diplomacy is going to work, but an olive branch has been extended. The South is uh, to the North, and supposedly there's going to be some talks, and in the next couple of weeks we'll find out if any of those talks actually materialized into something. But there hasn't been any more launches. We are learning that there was a launch that blew up last year in one of the cities, and apparently there was a bunch of casualties in the north uh, from a launch that uh, backfired literally on them. That was meant to go out to sea, but never happened. Um, what else happened this past week before we go? Real quick, the Justice Department has launched a new investigation into allegations. Of all things, the Clinton Foundation used pay-for-play it's, uh, politics while well, Hillary Clinton was U.S. Secretary of State. Source familiar with the in investigation was telling Fox late Thursday that the investigation is being led by the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> uh, 2013, once she left her post as Secretary of State, some people say that 
it'll be hard to really because there's uh, you know there's there's a cutoff time for being able to stick something federal on her rec- uh, a federal charge. So we'll find out uh, how long you can be able to make that charge stick after five years is what they're saying. But there is the possibility they might be able to make something stick. But we knew they were slimy to begin with. And it's interesting. It all goes back to Arkansas. It all goes back to where these people came from. Not a surprise. But that's how we end the week with the Clintons. But an investigation of pay to play where they've padded their pocketbooks The Hill reported that law enforcement officials said that there will be additional activities related to the investigation in the coming weeks. And the Clinton Foundation spokesman Craig Manson suggested that the organization has done nothing improper. Of course, that's what they're going to say. Lie and deny. And these people, again, I reiterate, were dirt broke when they left the White House and asked you and I to flip the bill for the legal expenses. Unbelievable. Will justice be served for the Clintons? Yet to be seen, folks. Don't know what deal they made with the devil, but we appreciate you tuning in to For the People Weekend. Our website, ForThePeopleShow.com. Your donations do make a difference. All the best. May God bless.